Hey, 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 Marianne here, the Crotchety Clogger. I'm here with you today for a chair dance number 19. We're going to do a song called Free Ride, popular back in the 70s uh, by the Edgar Winter Group. Um, I'm sure everybody knows this one. I like it. It's a mover. <laughs> but uh, anyway, before we continue, I do want to be sure that every that you please consult your physician or your physical therapist before uh, participating in any uh, exercise such as this one. All right. Um, as we go through this, I will try to do my best to show you some lower intensity type of movements that you can do. Um, you don't have to do them as full out as I do. Just please remember that, okay? And if at any time you feel any discomfort or pain, please stop. Okay. With that said, be sure that you have uh, plenty of water at the ready. It's good to, even though you might get in a sweat, we have to replenish the sweat. And it also helps for any kind of sore muscles or anything that you may have after to flush all those toxins out of our system. Okay, I think that's it. So let's begin and I'll show you the first part. First of all, we're going to hold 16 counts of music or two counts of eight, whichever way you want to look at it. And then we're going to begin by just kind of doing your own groovy thing. I'm going to put my arms up a little bit and maybe snap or something. So we're going to have eight counts of that on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now don't laugh. <laughs> we're going to squeeze our gluteus maximus. If you do not know what your gluteus maximus is, it's your bohonkus back here that we're sitting on. So we're going to squeeze it. We're going to squeeze, we're going to pulse squeeze. So very easy though, okay? Don't make a real hard squeeze. Just pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you're doing it right, you kind of notice that you're, you're going up a little, you know. I know this is weird, but um, you're bottom is the biggest muscle group in your body, I, b I believe. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it is. And we do nothing more than sit on it most of the time. But it is a very good muscle that'll come in handy. So let's work it out a little. Now, what you can do and what I end up doing, you don't have to do this, but when I do my glutes in this little part of this song, I tend to do a little shoulder pop too. It makes me feel like I'm doing a little more. I don't know. You don't have to do that. So, so far, after we've held two counts of eight, we're going to kind of snap, do your own thing for eight counts, and then we're going to squeeze our glutes for eight counts. And then the first verse begins, and we're going to start with our right foot. We're going to touch our heel out in front. Now, don't go too far out because the next part you won't be able to do if you go too far out, okay? So, just slightly in front of the other foot. We're going to lay down our toe. This, is, this dance has got a lot of ankle stuff in it, okay? So, we're going to pick up our toe again and then we bring them together. So, let's try with the other foot. Left foot goes heel touch, toe drop, lift the toe, and back together again, okay? Let's do that one more time, just for practice. So, right foot, touch, heel, toe, up, and together. Heel, toe, bring it back up and together. Okay? So, you're just kind of reversing the movement you started. Okay, after that, the foot that began, which was our right, we're going to do something in the tap world. Uh, it's called a crawl. Okay, we're not going to get on all fours and crawl, but we're going to crawl our foot. Okay, so you can start by either moving your toe out or you can start by moving your heel out. Doesn't matter. Either way is fine. So we're going to crawl one, two, three, four. See how that worked? Then we're going to bring it back again, five, six, seven, eight, until it comes back where it started. So let's try that with the heel toe thing. So we have one, two, three, four, other side, six, seven, crawl with the right foot and back again. Okay. Now we're going to 
do that whole thing again, but we're going to start with the left foot instead. So we have heel, touch, heel, and close. Heel, touch, heel, together. When I say close, I usually mean together. Then we're going to crawl with that foot that began, which was the left, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now, be careful, okay? Because the bigger you make that thing there, the farther out that leg's going to go, and that might not be too wise, okay? So just make them little small crawls. I, I can't help but call it a crawl, because that's what it is. Okay, then, in, you know, that I learned, I should say. Okay, uh, let me give you another intensity for that crawl. If you don't want to do the twisting motion, some of us have ankle issues. So if you don't want to do that twisting motion with your ankle, you can put your foot out and just kind of roll your foot. So we're kind of doing a tote, we're kind of rocking our foot. So we can go one, two, three, four, and then put it together and rock it. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that is, let's say rocking the foot. You can rock the foot instead of crawling, okay? So if you'll remember that, that'll come in handy for you if you want to lower that intensity. All right, so that takes care of the verse. We have heel, touch, and up, heel and toe, and up, then um, the crawl, three, four, and now I'm gonna do the lower intensity, okay? Heel, toe, heel, toe. I'll do the lower intensity with the rolling of the foot. Rolling of the foot. Okay, I will probably crawl uh, whenever we do it all together because that's just how I've been practicing. Okay, the next part is the chorus. And we are going to punch our right hand across. If I do this with the wrong way, y'all forgive me. We're going to go one, bring it back to a neutral position here on two, three, four. Okay, so we're punching both arms. One, not jerky punch, just an easy punch. Yep. Now we're going to do two little shoulder rolls with both shoulders. This uh, is on the counts five, six, and you're going to hear him say the words free ride. Okay, not every time, but especially this first time. All right, so that was, we've got all together, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, down and up. Now that happens kind of quick. It goes on seven, eight, and I am pushing myself up with my arms, okay? You can do that, or you can lower the intensity of that seven, eight. Instead of going all the way down with your torso and pushing up, you can just go a little bit, all right? Or you can just put your hands on your lap and go seven, eight with a clap or something, okay? So let's do, <clears throat> excuse me, the, um, no, yep, down and up. So we got a punch, a punch, free ride down and up. We're going to do that three times. See, I started with the wrong hand. <laughs> if I do that, I'm sorry. Five, six. Now, this was the third time, right? So, we're going to stay down this time. Instead of popping back up again, we're going to stay down. You're going to hold a couple of counts. Now, we're going to come back up with a flash. Two, three, four. I hope you don't hit anything. Okay, so we're going to flash for four counts. So that's our whole chorus. So we got the punches, the punches, free ride down up. We do that three times. The third time we stay down and we flash four, four. Yes. All right, now we're gonna go back to what we started with, the intro. It's gonna come again. I guess technically it wouldn't be an intro anymore, but I'm gonna call it that. We're gonna snap, two, three, four, five, six, do our glutes on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and snap, two. This time it happens like two times all the way through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here comes the verse again. Heel touch, up and lift. Heel toe, up and lift. Uh, crawl, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Heel touch, up and lift. Remember,
remember, and we crawl or we roll the foot, right? Five, six, seven, eight. And then, sorry for my, then the chorus happens, free ride down up, same thing, three times flash, stay down the third time and flash. Then we do this intro again, but this time we only have to do it once. So one, two, three, four, five, six, glutes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now, here comes the, the bridge. I think I'll call it the bridge. It's a different part in the song. We're going to bring our knee up one, two. We're going to straighten our leg, three, four. Come back to the knee, five, six, and bring it down, seven, eight. Same thing the other way. One, two, use your muscles, five, six, seven, and again, we're going to do it a total of four times, and here's the last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, next little bit, little tougher, the higher intensity would be both legs coming up, just like what we did just now, but with both at the same time. So you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do that three times. One, two, three, four, whoo, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we go all the way over, okay? Now, let me lower the intensity of that. Um, I think we're all okay when we do this. And remember, you can just, look, it doesn't have to be way up here, okay? It can be low. Now, but when it's time to do both legs, if you want to lower the intensity, please do so by just doing the same thing that we did before three more times, okay? That's what I would do, just single it out, right? Rather than doing both. Now, by the way, you will know uh, when it's time to do both legs or when it's time to do just three more of these. He sings an ooh, 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 ooh there. You'll hear it. Okay, next part. I'm calling it the spacey part <laughs> because it feels like, a, or it sounds sort of like a whoosh, and you'll know it when you hear it. During that spacey, uh, spacey part now remember we just went down right so when we do the both legs for three times on the third one <laughs> we go down okay so here comes the spacey part and we're going to roll we're going to roll up we're going to roll our torso up now now the best way for me to explain that is to imagine the bottom part of your spine the last vertebrae there Imagine that each one is going to have its turn coming up and that the last one to happen would be the vertebrae in the neck. Now we're going to take eight counts to do that. It really doesn't go that slowly to, to imagine each vertebrae, but kind of think of kind of rolling up with your spine. So we're down. We're going to roll up for eight and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, right arm is going to do the backstroke. Even if you can't swim, you can do this backstroke for eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the other arm back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, both arms are going to do the front stroke. <laughs> or butterfly, I guess it would be, wouldn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Let's add one thing to these swimming strokes here. A breath, okay? So as you can see, each one has eight counts. Excuse me. We're going to breathe in for four and exhale for four. So breathe in, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, breathe in and out, and in, and out. Right, so that's our big spacey part. <laughs> now we're gonna get back to the chorus, and we're almost near the end. Yay! Okay, back to the chorus with the punches. 
one, two, three, four, free ride, seven, eight. Here comes the difference. He starts, instead of going right back into this like we did before, he sings, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to march or anything really fun for eight counts, okay? So the last choruses are one, two, three, four, free, ride, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and back to the punch. One, two, three, four, free, ride, down, and march, two, three, and boogie any way you want to. That repeats until the end of the song when it finally fades out. Whew, that's a long one, isn't it? <laughs> okay, get a sip of water and let's give this a try. Uh, I'm going to provide you a link that will come right across your screen at the top somewhere. And by uh, clicking on that link, you will be led to this song on YouTube, okay? Um, and what you can do, <coughs> excuse me, is bring that up in another window on your device or a different device and push play on the song push play on me here in a minute and hopefully we'll be in sync and, I, and I'm letting you know this because you're not going to hear the music through my video for copyright uh, policies I cannot play the music actually in my video so therefore I'm going to provide you with that card or link okay let's give this a try All right, how'd you do? 
Don't forget your water, okay? Oh, that was a good one, yeah? So, I hope you'll be able to come back again and do it again when you feel the urge to do so. Um, and please remember that I try, I try really hard to put one new chair down, dance uh, out every week, usually on Fridays. I may skip a week here or there, but I try every week to do so. If you like my chair exercises, if you enjoy them, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment. It's nice to hear how it's working out for everyone, okay? And I also offer um, live chair dancing with me via Zoom. Um, if you're interested in that, just email me. Um, my email is in the description box down below. And I will provide you with the link to my Zoom room. We do that every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern. And Wednesday is another option if you'd like to Zoom chair dance. Um, we do that over in Sharon's Zoom. That's Sharon of Crochet, excuse me, Sharon's Crochet Corner, right. Now, if you want to do, that's on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join us there, just email Sharon and she'll let you know her Zoom information. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Thank you for dancing. And thank you for bopping along with me in my chair. See you later. Bye.